Hey YouTube, today we're going to try a new setup. Um, I am using my Canon camera to try to record all the videos now and I'm going to be using the top of my um, sports card catalog to display incoming cards that I have to my collection. So the joy of having this card catalog um, has really allowed me to jump back into picking up more sports cards, taking into consideration the fact that I now have storage for that. So taking that into consideration, um, here are some of the cards that I've picked up since. I have a really big Maine PC as I am from Maine. I live up near um, Orno, Maine. Um, taking that into consideration, I am a huge um, University of Maine sports fan. Now that encompasses football, it encompasses hockey, and I have a couple of hockey pickups from Maine PC. Um, the first one is a Paul Correa rookie card. Um, obviously the most successful UMO hockey player. Um, next I actually have Steve Correa who is Paul Correa's younger brother. Um, and I more so knew him when he was growing up, um, having an opportunity to watch him play frequently. This is his Topps Chrome rookie card, and then this is an Upper Deck Holographics card. Both very sharp there. Um, next, going into some football pickups that I have. I have a couple of Johnny Manziel rookie cards. Um, more so have those cards because of the story um, and all the drama that surrounded him. So three rookie cards, I had two tops chrome and then a panini. Um, next actually, this is a huge pickup for me. I am a big New England Patriots fan. Um, sorry for everyone else who is not a fan of the Patriots, I know it must be rough. Um, and I picked this up from Spectra. This is a Nikhil Harry Spectra Rookie Patch Auto. What's fantastic about this is I picked that up for $12. Um, knowing that Nikhil Harry is injured right now, I believe we're in a position where his name simply is not out there, but expect to see him back there soon and really helping the um, offensive production for the Patriots. Next, I have a couple more football pickups. Um, I have some Saquon Barkley's. Here is his regular Panini rookie card. I then have his red, white, and blue um, Panini Prism Parallel rookie card. Um, he was my saving grace in fantasy football. Um, as of late, <laughs> with him being injured, I'm just barely making it. Um, next, I have pickups this jumping into basketball now of uh, Harry Giles. As you can see here, we have quite a few of the rated rookies from Don Russ Optic. He's a player who, word on the street is that not this coming year, but the year after, he will look to be the starter, um, to be a starter for the um, Sacramento Kings. Continuing with basketball, um, I picked up some rookie cards for Markel Fultz. Here's the first one, Panini Prism. Another Panini. Another Panini. And then a Don Ross Optic rated rookie. Um, I think it's called a Blue Wave. I picked that up right after seeing the video release of his new and improved shot. He's going to be a player who on the Orlando Magic is going to be able to take a lot of shots. Um, I really think you'll see his offensive production soar. Next I picked up a couple of homer picks as a Boston Celtics fan. Picked up two red, white, and blue Panini Prism Parallels rookie cards for First one, first one is Semi Ojale, who I expect to see a good year out of him. I think he's going to have certainly a more predominant role as the defensive stopper. And then we have uh, Robert Williams, Panini Prism, red, white, and blue parallel rookie card. 
Next, I went through the process and picked up some baseball cards. Um, I started off looking at Raphael Devers, who had a phenomenal year. Um, what's crazy about him is he is so young, has put up such high numbers, and his stuff really isn't that expensive. Um, this past year, he hit over uh, 300. He had over 30 home runs, had 50 doubles, had over, I believe, 120 runs, 120 RBIs, simply unheard of numbers. So I picked up quite a few rookie cards for Raphael Devers. Um, the first is a Topps Finest. Love that card. The next is a Topps Chrome Parallel. Nice and pink there. And then I picked up a lot of the Allen and Ginter. I won't even go through all of these, but I love how clean the Allen and Ginter set is. So one of the interesting things about having this card catalog is the fact that it's allowed me to really go back through my collection and bring stuff from the hoarder's collector bin, which was my old walk-in closet as a child. Um, and in doing so, I found quite a few cards that I didn't even really know I had. I mean, here's just one example. Here is this purple Bowman Platinum of Nolan Arenado. Um, it is a really, really sharp card. It's also a card right now which is doing quite well graded. Um, I'm very tempted to try to get into uh, graded cards as well, um, based off of kind of cards that I pull from here on out. So I hope you guys like the new setup um, of being able to showcase cards on the um, sports card catalog. I am hopeful that this will allow me to create um, more videos in the future showcasing some of my most recent pickups. Do me a favor, please feel free to check out my channel as I'm going to have updated content based off of updated rookie cards that I get in, um, more additions to the game use collection, uh, as well as further discussion in regards to trying to really figure out what I'm going to look to collect as a collector. Um, take into consideration, I now have the ability to collect, uh, which is really great. I thank you guys a lot for your support. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave comments down below and I'll look to get back to you. Thanks a lot, guys.